guys. This Pepe Super has peppered me. I am Pepe. <laughs> I'm going to call you. Alright, thank you. Oh, I, may, I, may, I may call you to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Oh, you don't mind. Alright, thank you. Right. So guys, um, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I know uh, we've been, we just showed a bit of clips of the place we're in today. We're at uh, Puzo's uh, restaurant. Uh, it's called Puzo... Okay, I think... Yeah, who's the rest, right? Eat, eat and drink or something like that. I don't know. I'll put the name somewhere so you guys can see it. Um, this is a place I've, I wanted to come for a while now, and um, one thing has been leading to the other. And also, with all the recent happening in the country, uh, I've not been able to put my put things together. You understand what, what has been happening? So, today we decided to come to show you guys. The reason why we do this is so that you guys will know what to expect when you come to a place like this. So that you don't have to, I mean, you have choices. From what you have seen on our channel, you'll be able to decide, ah, I think I like this place or I don't, you know. All right, we're here today. Um, I'm going to stay here for a while because I want to really uh, sh show you guys exactly all the things you can find here. The place looks very nice. It's actually along uh, the Mola de Tukundo, uh, in Wusei Tui here in Abuja. Uh, when we're coming, we Googled it and actually Google brought us here. So. Let me just go through what they have here first, then I also, I, on the other hand, I spoke with the waiter. I told him I'm going to ask him a couple of questions so that he can enlighten us about this place, what it's all about and what they do, you know? All right, let's look at the menu. We'll talk from there.
Okay guys, here is the menu. Um, I've already gone through it before, but let me just show you guys on their menu here. They have uh, they have soups, they have uh, starters, they have salads, and uh, they have burgers, uh, sandwiches. They have uh, what's it called? Clay oven tandoor, clay oven bread tandoor, and their prices are you can see the prices here. And uh, let me show you, just show you briefly. They also have the Indian curries. Okay. They have the, they also have the Chinese kitchen here. You can see that, uh, let me go through. They have pastas and they also have their main courses here. All right. Okay, they have barbecue, they have dessert. Anyway, that's just for their menu. They also have drinks, but since I'm not gonna be, I'm not into uh, alcohol here. So let me just show you, they have their mocktails, Cinderella lemon, juice, orange and all that. Anyway, um, I'll go through it again. I'll pick something, place my order, I'll wait for the order to come, and I'll tell you guys, I'll show you guys what the thing looks like. And I'll also talk about their service. Okay, let me first of all start with, um, the ordering first, then we'll talk about the other things. Anyway, guys, uh, I've gone to the menu like I said before, and uh, what I want to do is I want to like look at how, see what their service is like here, how they attend to clients. Okay, let me start with this. When we first came, the guy, uh, one of the waiter saw us and they sig signaled to us if we wanted to come in there. So we came in and he gave us a seat, gave us this menu that we have here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to see how they attend to clients so that I can rate them, say what, what, from 1 to 10 what their service is like compared to what we got in the um, uh, Lagos Bristol. The girl there was awesome. I'm telling you, if you know about that video, please go. I'll put the link in the description here. You can check out that video, Lagos Bristol. It was awesome. The, se the girl that served us there was just top notch. All right, let's see whether we'll get some, some service here today. Okay. Let's look at the menu again. We we'll place our order when the food comes. I'll show you guys. Then we we'll eat, and we we'll continue from there. All right, here's the thing. Um, you know, um, my colleague here asked me or told me that she thinks I'm not feeling this place. Um, it's not that I'm not feeling the place, you know. Uh, the, the thing is that most places I've gone to shoot or show their food, most restaurants I've gone to, it's been like when we get there, it's always like quiet or not as rowdy as this place is. It's, this place is busy, which is nice for people who really want uh, those kind of activity. But I, I think personally, I, I seem to like more quiet places. I seem to like. Um, to go to places where it's either just me or just a couple of other people who are seated quietly doing their thing, you know. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I think that's just me, you know. So but anyway, the place looks nice. Really, it looks nice. It's actually seated on a hill because if you, the place is kind of, I think I'll put a clip in from the beginning when we're entering, so you guys see what I mean. And um, uh, it's fine. This place is airy. I'm sitting just outside. But this block the scene right here it's um you can go in there and see it i should put a clip so that you can see what the inside looks like too you know um but for now we've just ordered for goat pepper soup and uh, some drinks we want to start with that first then after that we'll place another for something else so that you know we can show you guys what their food is like I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy it in it. <laughs> hey guys, our drinks have arrived. This is the strawberry uh, drink we ordered for. And this one, let me show you guys. Uh, this is the pink lady, whatever they call it. So these are the two drinks we ordered for. And we're now waiting for our first meal to arrive. Let me, let me test taste this one. Let me know what it is. What it's like. Hmm, I like it. It has this uh, pineapple flavor. 
that's a, that's a major thing you taste when you take a sip. It's nice. Let's put this back there. Let me do this one. <laughs> I can't pin anything on it, but it's just there. Wow, <laughs> I think I like them both there. I think I like them a bit more. But anyway, so they're here now. We're gonna take um, our time to enjoy these drinks and uh, eat our meal. Yeah. So guys, um, the river soup just came and um, it looks very nice. Let me take a picture of it uh, so that I could get a great look. I like the way they put the food bombs and uh, the... Uh, let, let me show you from the top so you guys can see it. I can get used to things like this. <laughs> this is nice, wow. Now queens. We are copying. Prepared me. I am pepper. <laughs> Truth is that I don't really like pepper or very spicy food, you know. I mean, from my videos, you can tell because when I take spicy, I always say that I don't really like spicy food. But I'm doing this for the vlog, you know, to show you, tell you guys what the pepper soup is like. But it's, it's tasty, but it's just that it's peppery, and I don't really like peppery food. Yeah, guys, I've crushed the goat pepper soup. Forget the hot pepper soup that is remaining. I need to wash my hands. Then I'll be ready for the next meal. How long have you been working here? One year general. Thank you. So guys, uh, I learned that the Kuzo restaurant has been here for about two years. August, it was two years in August. And um, the place is very beautiful. They have a place in there where if you are into football, you can go in. I'll show you, maybe I'll put a clip so you guys can see. You can watch football there if you're not interested in sitting out here. And uh, they also have a place for for people who want to like um, use the place for maybe an occasion. They can just rent the place it's like a, a small place in there. They have it privately for people who want to like be on their own. You know, the place is pretty nice, and I like the fact that you can sit out there, have this view in front of you. Let me show you guys the view. Lovely, I'm sure. Alright, 
So guys, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take a bit of the rice, put it in the plate and see what uh, that's going uh, Smells nice though, very nice. I, I, I like it, I like the smell of the food. Look, looks nice and smells very nice. So, let me try and take this and see what it's like. Mm. Very nice. This one is not spicy. So, I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. Anyways, uh, guys, I've, I'm done with my meal. We uh, breezed through the meal they gave to us. The quantity of rice was cool. Uh, the pepper soup was really, really spicy. I must say that I really enjoyed it. And here, yeah, and um, the service is also cool. The guy who served us did well. Um, I must say he tried. Then um, the prices are not way up in the sky, like some places we've been to. Um, and anyway, it's been. A, uh, well spent time here I uh, will soon be done and gone uh, I just want to say this um, if you're in the city and you want to come and try this place I think you should come come if you're the type if, if you're the type that really like quiet places if you come probably don't sit outside sit in there where you have this enclosed place where you can be a bit quiet and all that but if you want if you want to have like fresh air you want to sit out this place is cool too you can always sit here well um, Thank you guys for watching me eat. It's always fun eating and making these such kind of videos, you know. And um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, that red big bell button down there somewhere, hit it. A uh, bell icon will pop up. Hit that too so that you get notified anytime I put out a video. Okay? See you guys in the very next one. Anyway, I know it's supposed to end here, but I'm still gonna show you some clips maybe when walking out and other things. Maybe a little bit things here and there before we disappear from this place. This is Puzo's restaurant on Ademola Ade Tokumbo Crescent in Musetu, Nigeria. <laughs> See you guys, man. Like, share, comment, sing the next one.